it, I'm struck just in your presence. The I was watching you on stage, watching the reactions from the crowd, mm -hmm. looking you in the eye with your passion that you were displaying and talking about so many issues. And yet you hear candidates suggesting that a vote for President Biden because of his age is somehow a vote for you. And that is hurled as an insult. I'm the first woman to be vice president. And I love my job. <laughs> I'm going to try to get through this. Um, thank you for what you did three years ago today. Um, please tell me your thoughts um, on this third anniversary. As a, as a white woman aware of my own privilege in this country, I am so angry I, and I can't even begin. Forgive me. Honestly, I want to cry. I want to cry in so many different ways. You feel like any little piece of information that gets out on you will be used by the worst people on the internet to destroy your life. And it's so isolating. And terrifying. It's horrifying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fine. it's sorry. overwhelming. It's really hard. Trump administration officials have been sending babies and other young children. Oh. <laughs> To at least three <sighs> Can we put up the graphic of this? Thank you. Do we have it? No. Three tender age shelters in South Texas. Lawyers and medical providers. Just <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to hand this off. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That does it for us tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow. Now it is time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell, where he is live in Brownsville, Texas. And he immigrated from Ghana, a country Donald Trump apparently thinks produces very subpar immigrants. I, I, I don't know why the president doesn't know that. You know, this is the 10th hospital that I have been. I'm sorry. This is the 10th. I apologize. I'm going to try to try to get through this. This is the 10th hospital that I have been in. And to see the way that these families have to live after this and the heartache that goes so far and so wide. It's really hard to take. I'm sorry, Allison. Hey, Sarah, no apology. No apology needed.